Now, very briefly, repairs. About 30% of your rent will be spent on repairs and management. Okay, so 10% will be repairs, roughly 20%, you know, tipping, depending on what it is. So just be aware of that when you're doing your maths. So if you tell me you're going to buy a property that's going to make you £200 a month, I'm going to tell you not to do it. Just ain't enough, folks. And that's why we want you on high yields. Set, set aside three grand just as a lump sum for additional rainy days in case your 10% becomes 11%. But no, know that you, you want to be setting aside 10% per month for your repairs. And it, Erica, we discussed that and you just felt like your tummy settled all the way down. It, instead of it being a high anxious making situation of unknown costs, suddenly it's like, oh, it's 10%. You know, I'm paying 2,300 for a boiler today and the guys are at there at the moment, she's like, oh, it's a boiler. I've got two roofs to repair or to replace. Oh, well, it's just part of it, isn't it? And have minimum three. I mean, we have a lot more than three now of each kind of repair person on a spreadsheet. And you guys heard Josh talking about that yesterday, didn't you? I actually have seven plumbers. And when two of my boilers blew up, I worked down to about plumber four or five. I forget now. The first one was pissed. The second... Sorry. He was. He was like, Suze, it's like five o'clock on a Saturday and I've been drinking since two or whatever. I'm at the rugby club. OK, <laughs> all right, Steve. And then the next two weren't answering. Then someone else wasn't a family day. And then finally I got somebody out. But I still had two more plumbers before I started looking up the yellow pages. So I wasn't unhappy and I tested them out on little things.